In this video, we are going to learn about attribute splitting. What is attribute splitting? Let me first give you an example that what why we need attribute splitting. So here is my reference code, and I have wrote this to uh, quickly copy and paste the things in my code window. Okay, I have various input tags that I have copied three times. The first input tag I'm going to give the name first name the second input tag can have the name l name and the third may have name txt address okay and all these tags are getting their attribute values of max length less order and required and size from the code here and what's the reason that i am specifying them the values through code is that i don't have to write the values over and over again the reason behind is for example if i want to make the change in the max length so i just need to make a change over here that 20 characters this tag uh, text box can get for example if i want to change the size i don't need to change the size at every place i can change it just at this point that the size will of the these text boxes will be of 20. okay in that case i am serving my work that I have specified the attribute values inside the parameters of type string and my values are there and they are displayed inside these input text boxes. Let me show you the output first. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the benefit of this attribute splitting technique is that now what I am going to do because I know all these parameters are taking same sort of values. First let's examine the output and then we will discuss on why we need attribute splitting. This concept is not attribute splitting. Uh, this is a normal uh, scenario without attribute splitting technique. Okay. Right click, come into inspect and you can see that id and the max length every tag is getting value from my c sharp property okay what next i want to do is let me copy my reference code i can specify the value values from dictionary object what the dictionary object is as you may know you all know that dictionary object is the object of key value pair with name i have specified the name input attributes and here i am initializing my object the max length is 10 okay or 20 or the size should be 20 and if it's required or not or what should be the placeholder and now i don't need to specify all these parameters separately once again i am more minimizing my code and instead of all these parameters repeated over and over again i can just write at the right attributes equals to the name of my object my dictionary object in which I have specified the values okay and that's it so this technique is known as attribute splitting but one more thing to note here uh, till now we are all set we have specified the values we converted the long technique of writing these parameters separately into one dictionary object now once again we have more minimized our code but there is a problem for example let me show you the output and we will uh, recognize what the problem is with this technique so once again right click on this tag and come into inspect element and uh, once again okay here we have txt f name max line 20 okay but placeholder is same for all these tags i want placeholder to be changed otherwise everything should remain same that I, all these tags are required and have size of 20 what i can do i will remove this attribute from this list i don't want placeholder to come from my splatting technique this technique is known as attribute splatting then i am splatting the attributes with just one dictionary object into these input tags and i will specify the placeholder separately because it has to go with separate values uh, like enter first name and i will copy this placeholder into second tag and the third tag and here 
last name and enter your address over here okay so um, that's okay let's run the application and examine the output okay the attributes which we know that will have same values we have a splatted through a dictionary object and the attribute that we think will have separate values we have mentioned them declared them separately okay now you can notice that enter first name enter last name and enter address now this id is declared into each each input tag separately max length required and size are given through dictionary objects and they are same in every tag and placeholder is once again given separately in each tag so this technique is known as attribute splatter thank you very much